Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to see if I can make a quick video for you. Um, we have a Minn Kota Altera uh, here. It's uh, been having a little bit of an issue with it. Um, I want to preface first by saying, uh, even though I've had an issue with it, I absolutely love this trolling motor. Um, I wish I would have bought them when they first came out. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. Um, it is worth every penny that I spent for it. Um, this is the second generation. It does have the, uh, the Mega Down imaging. Um, so the, here's the issue I've been having, um, about a month ago, uh, the power trim could just randomly stop working. Um, it would work for a little while, um, after you power it on and then it would just stop. It would deploy, um, and you could deploy it and then, um, stow it as long as you did it within the first couple of minutes. Um, you could, if it was deployed, you could turn the power off, leave the power off for a few minutes, turn it back on, and then it would start working again for a couple minutes and then it would stop working. Um, I called uh, Minn Kota's tech support. They told me to have the batteries load tested, um, which I did, and they checked out fine. Um, I then checked every single connection leading up to the uh, Altera, from the plug all the way back to every battery terminal connection. I did clean them off. Some of them were a little bit dirty, but they, they still weren't really having an issue. Um, so what ended up being the fix uh, let me get the semi truck to pass by here. Um, I couldn't find any information at all about working on these or uh, you know any people having issues with this. Um, initially, it was leading me to maybe having a bad computer module inside. Um, and I think that's where Minn Kota was going to tell me to, to send it to a service tech and have them diagnose the computer module. Um, but here's what I found. Um, let me go ahead and I can't deploy it all the way because I'm on my trailer, but let me get it at least going here and pause. Okay, so if you've ever had to manually deploy these, and sorry, a little damage here from smacking a dock as well as over here. I got a totally different side plate. Um, little segue, um, trollingmotorparts.com. Um, great resource for buying parts for these trolling motors. Um, this side plate here, I busted it. And what actually ended up happening is it busted and it sheared both of the bolts uh, that screw into the plate and it just fell off in the water. <laughs> I couldn't even catch it. it, sucked. So anyways, this side plate with no um, name on the side of it was $5 and it was like $5 in shipping and I had it within a couple of days. It was fast. So it was like 10 bucks to my house. Um, all right, so if you've ever had to manually stow these, you know you gotta pull this tab out and then you can push it up. It's gonna be kind of hard to do with one hand. Okay, so as you can see here on the, the bottom of the power trim unit, sorry for the shaky camera, um, we have this plate which has uh, contacts for your brushes right here. Um, there are four brushes. Um, uh, I'm really not sure if it's positive and negative. I'm sure it sends some type of signal and power to the unit, um, but there's a little computer inside here too. Um, so the inside brush connects to the inside um, um, on the disc here, and I believe that's positive. I believe that goes straight to the motor. There's a little uh, motor in here. I ohm tested the motor um, with my meter, and it tested fine. It was there was virtually no resistance at all, so the motor wasn't damaged. Um, and then I I ohm tested um, the outside, which is a black wire, um, to the motor, and I got really funky readings. It was jumping all over the place. It wasn't holding steady at any particular. Um, resistance. So I pulled this whole thing apart. Um, there's a bunch of torque bits um, and I was able to gently pry it apart and I was able to drop this disc down. And what I saw almost immediately when I dropped this disc down, the outside one is a black wire and the wire was just barely making contact. It had like broken off from it. Um, so I was able to pull a little bit of the wire out, strip it off about a quarter of an inch and then re-solder it to this plate. Um, I checked everything out inside, everything else seemed fine, um, put it all back together again, and uh, hooked it up, and it hasn't failed me since. So um, now I'm going to put it back down, lock it back in, and I guarantee it's not going to work because it's it didn't recognize the motor there for a minute. So I'm going to turn it off, let it sit a second. We'll try it again. Nope, 
and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna fail because it was twisted. Let's try that again. But you can see that the motor's working. Let's try that again. Okay. There we go. See, up and down. Um, I'm gonna do another leak test today um, just to make sure that it works all day. Um, I really hope this helps because I couldn't find any information whatsoever out there on the web, whether in forums, um, videos, nothing. So I hope this helps. Um, probably do another video later on um, because I did shorten this from a 60 inch to a 45. Um, I'm probably going to make that video next. Um, if you guys would like to see that video, um, let me know. Maybe let me know in the comments. Um, it wasn't easy. I wouldn't recommend it unless your warranty's already past the two-year point. Um, but it is it is very possible. You just got to be very, very careful doing it. Um, there are a couple of videos out there. If you watch different videos about the Tarova, about taking them completely apart, um, you can kind of get an idea on how to do it. I didn't have to cut any wiring. I was able to coil everything up in the head um, that was left over from the extra 15 inches in the event that uh, if I ever needed to order a new um, shaft, um, you can order it from trollinmotorparts.com. I think it's like 150 bucks. You can order the, the original shaft and belt. Um, so if I ever wanted to go back to a longer one for maybe a, buying a bigger boat or whatever. So anyways, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, you know, leave me a comment. Um, I don't check YouTube very often, but, um, yeah, I think that's really about all I got. Thanks guys.